All right, this is the, uh, the elastic we use on majority of our holsters. It's a four inch, um, what is called as a dense herringbone elastic. Um, we'll talk a little bit later about why we chose that type of elastic when we talk about how we make them. But this elastic right here is um, made up in New York. Um, so it's another good American made product. This is the binding material that we use to go around the edge of the holster uh, to give it a nice finished look. Plus it makes it very comfortable when you're wearing the holster. This is made in upstate New York as well. Um, so it's another American made product. We actually use the, uh, a double stick tape um, to hold the binding on the edge of the holster so it stays in place when we're sewing around that edge. Um, and even the tape's made in America. This is how we get our polycarbonate. Now we, we do every part of the process here in house. With the exception of, we do not have the equipment to thermoform the polycarbonate ourselves, um, nor do we cut it out ourselves. So we have a company that's about 20 miles south, south of us, um, in, down in Salisbury, North Carolina, that does all the thermoforming for us. And they also have a five axis router, so they cut the parts out. So this is how it comes to us. Then at that point, we, uh, we do what we need to do to get it ready for uh, production. These are the uh, spring steel powder coated clips that we use on our holsters. This is the style clip that we use for all of our original and original tuckable holsters. Um, this is the style that we use on our new professional series holsters that has the thermoformed polycarbonate on it. Um, but these are made in upstate New York by a machine shop and they actually form the uh, clips for us and powder coat them as well. Everything starts I guess with the, uh, the actual cowhide that we get in. Um, both our facing leather like you see here and then of course the suede leather which is on the backing of the holster that, that contacts the body. Um, both of these are made out of American steer. Um, it is tanned in Mexico. Unfortunately, due to uh, EPA regulations, there's no tanneries here in the continental U.S. Um, so we do have it tanned in Mexico and processed in Mexico, but it is American steer. Um, we buy it through a company right here in High Point, North Carolina. Great people at uh, Universal Leather that helps us out. Um, so that's where it all starts. Um, then at that point, we cut it into a, a manageable working size instead of trying to work with a whole hide itself. Well, once we uh, get the leather hides in, what we do is we bring them over to this cutting table here and we strip those leather hides into uh, different sizes. Um, this is one of our, con our compact pieces here. Um, once they're stripped out, that, like you see here on the shelves, you have the facing leather here, you've got the suede leather there. Then we use our hydraulic press, this is what's called a clicker, and we use these dies on the shelves right there um, to cut out the different size pieces that we need and stuff for the process. So once we've uh, clicked out the materials, we've got the, the suede backing that goes up against the body, we've got the neoprene that provides the padding and, and keeps moisture away from the firearm, and then we've got this old tan leather here cut out. Of course, you see the holes are already cut into it, so we can attach that piece of polycarbonate for one of our professionals, and you can even see where we stamp our company logo and the website there. One of the main reasons why we put our website on the uh, holster itself is because Nate and I have our contact information on the website. That way, as long as someone owns the holster, they don't have to have a business card. All they have to have the, is their holster, and they've got a way to contact us directly. All right, once we have those three pieces clicked out, we uh, hand sew the uh, dense herringbone elastic into that facing leather there. This is called a satin stitch. Um, there's several feet actually of thread right there in that, so it's very dense, very durable. And that's one of the reasons why we give a lifetime warranty on it. But once that's done, we take those three substrates and we actually glue those pieces together. Then at that point, we're ready to put binding on it and finish the holster and put that good old American flag right there on it. Okay, once the three uh, pieces are glued together, we sit there and trim it, make sure you got a nice finished edge on it. Then at that point, the last step is putting this binding on. We just put the binding around the holster, make sure we insert that little uh, American flag right there on the edge. And then at that point, the binding's sewn on, throw a clip on it, and it's ready to ship to your house. Nate and I, in the very beginning, decided that we were going to focus on doing the right thing. Um, as far as the design of the holster, but also for the customer. So after somebody has our holster, they've got a lifetime warranty on that product, no matter what happens. Um, even if they sit down in the car wrong or something and spring this uh, spring steel clip, all they gotta do is give us a call and we'll send them another one free of charge. Um, so we stand behind the product 100%, which really should be the way all companies handle their business. It doesn't happen very often. Uh, most of the time it's something small like the clip being sprung or something like that. 
Um, we had one gentleman that actually wore through the elastic, but come to find out after we questioned him, you know, how it happened because it concerned us. Um, come to find out he was wearing it outside the waistband and just running his belt around the holster holding it in and that's the reason why it wore out. Uh, of course it didn't matter to us, we replaced his holster, you know, because he's got a lifetime warranty on it, even though he didn't use it quite as it, as it was intended. Um, he's still a great customer, he owns four or five of our holsters and he was tickled to death to find out we were going to send him a brand new one. To try to design something that's going to work for every person out there perfectly is impossible. You know, we tried to do the best that we could to accomplish that, but you can't design something that's going to work for everyone. So if a customer orders our holster and they get it and they try it and they wear it for a couple of days and decide it's just not for them, all they have to do is send it back to us and we'll refund their money. Emails and phone calls of people that had to use them um, in a defense, personal defense situation. Matter of fact, one of our gun stores, the gun store owner was wearing our holster, um, which he does every day, and someone come in to rob his store, and he drew his firearm, and the guy made a wise decision and put his firearm down and surrendered. We just wanted to design a product that would allow somebody to carry their gun every single day comfortably, and it'd be convenient to where they don't feel like they gotta go home and clean the thing every night. Obviously, we feel the same way that, that the end user does. We hope they never have to use their gun, but the only way they're ever gonna be able to defend themselves in a personal defense situation like that is to have them gun, their gun on them. And so many people will try one holster to another, just like we did. They end up with a box of holsters, and what they find out is they end up making excuses of why they shouldn't carry their gun. And we wanted to alleviate that and give them a reason to carry the thing. Um, you know, we've all heard the saying, carrying concealed is supposed to be comforting. It's not supposed to be comfortable. Um, well, this is 2012. I think we've got enough intelligent people in this country that we can come up with a way that somebody can carry their handgun every day comfortably. And we feel like we've done a fairly decent job at that. I think one of the main reasons to purchase an H square tactical holster is, number one, you're supporting an American company, first and foremost. Um, we take a lot of pride in, in our quality and craftsmanship. And, you know, putting that flag on there means a whole lot to us. Um, the flag doesn't mean as much to all Americans as it should, but it does to us, and we think it does to the majority of our customers as well. So first and foremost, they should buy it for that reason. The other reason is, isn't it about time to end the search for that comfortable holster and quit collecting ones to just throw in a drawer or throw in a box? We feel like it's about time to quit doing that. So buy an 8-square tactical holster, and I think you'll be very surprised at the comfort level.